Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is author T.M. Brown. And you know I've been doing uh, readings of my book, A Life Not My Own. But this morning, this is not about the reading. This is about what it's like to be here living in Tampa and about to go through uh, the experience of Hurricane Irma. You know, some of you may be thinking, why is she still there? Well, if you have been watching the news, you've probably have seen how the path of the hurricane has moved all the way across our state of Florida. So at one point earlier in the week, I thought that I would go, I would go west. I would have just gone north up 75 and then west from that point. Um, at this point, that really doesn't make sense because now the path of the storm is on a west coast, the west coast of Florida. Earlier in the week, I looked for hotels and air, uh, and flights and things like that. There were either no hotels until you get into, um, you know, Georgia or the, uh, flights were extremely expensive. And given the uncertainty of the path of the storm, I decided to stay put. Currently, I have my hurricane shutters up, which I had to do myself because there's very few people in the area that are available to do that. Um, and so with the help of neighbors, we are helping one another and we're able to get the shutters up. I went out this morning and picked up a few things, water, um, basically, and looking for a battery-operated uh, radio, which I was unable to find. Worst case scenario, I will um, go to my car and... I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that I can get to my car and listen to what's going on that way. As I was out this morning, I was moved by how scared so many people are. And I wondered why I'm not scared all the time. Don't get me wrong. I have my moments where I wonder if I've made the right decision. And at this point, I don't know if there is a right decision. I decided to post this particular um, episode to you all because I, I felt the need to reach out to folks in Florida and outside of our state and hopefully let you know what I'm thinking in the hopes that it might be some encouragement to you. My life in the last five years has been extremely, extremely challenging, more challenging than you've Maybe you can see, you've been able to see as you follow me, physical challenges, divorce, moving from Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, down here to Florida, starting my life completely over again. I refuse, I absolutely refuse to believe that the Lord has taken me through all of this just to bring me here and call me home. I know that there's a purpose for my life. And my book feels so much more relevant now than ever before. Even just the name, A Life Not My Own. So for you 
that hear me. I hope that you will feel some comfort in knowing that you are not alone, knowing that we have strength built within us that is indescribable. And I pray that you and your families are safe and that come Tuesday morning, we will be communicating again. Take care, everyone. I appreciate all the support that you guys have given me over the years. You just don't know how much that means to me. So take care. Be safe. Do your part. Maintain your faith no matter what that might be. Maintain your faith. And we will get through this. In Jesus' name. Amen.